Hello friends, Sam here. So today what we are going to talk about in MuleSoft whenever we do integration, integration from source system to destination system, then there are three key formats we have to understand clearly. First one is CSV, comma separated value. Second one is XML and third one is JSON. Let me write down the full form. It's comma separated value. Then second one is extended markup language. Okay. Then third one is JSON JavaScript object notation. JavaScript object notation. These are the three key formats. You might have to do interconvergence in your integration project whenever you develop your integration project in MuleSoft. So for example, your source system is giving CSV file, you want to generate XML for the uh, other system or a source system is generating JSON file, you need to generate XML for uh, other system and vice, vice versa. So any kind of combination can be there, any crisscross combination can be there. Now let us understand these all formats clearly. Okay. So whenever I say CSV, what is that CSV contain? Let me open Notepad++ and let me create, maybe let me close all of this. Okay, and let me create the CSV file. So I'm saying file new and firstly your CSV file will have header. So let's say EMP ID is the header, then ename is the second column and salary is the third column. So EMP ID is column number one, ename is column number two and salary is column number three then we will have record. So this first line is header of CSV file. Then the actual records, actual value for EMP ID, ename and salary. Let's say 1000 is the EMP ID. Then ename is let's say Vivek. Salary is let's say 12,000. Then the second record. Now this is well formatted. Uh, you can say that data format. Okay. So all rows will have same number of columns. Order is also same in each row. So it will not happen that first row contains uh, EMP ID and salary only. Second row contain maybe some other details. Third row may contain maybe five columns. It will not be like that. Okay. It is the structured format. Okay. It is a well formatted. Uh, you can say that well formatted data is stored in CSV. Okay, so all rows will have same columns. So I'll say 2000 is the employee ID. Maybe some value can be null. Let's say uh, uh, employee name is null. So we just have the comma and then we will have 13,000. That is possible. We may have uh, employee ID, name is there, let's say Gopi, and salary is not there. But placeholder is always there right so as a happy scenario let us put all the data over here fine so this is what the csv file format right so how to save that let me save it as let's save that in some sample files folder and we are giving all files so we are going to give our extension explicitly so just save it like this so let's say double quotation and you call it as demo.csv, double quotation complete and you can see that the file got stored with CSV extension, right? You can open CSV file in MS Excel also, Microsoft Excel also. Let's say let me close this and let me open, uh, okay, let me open, let's say C colon data sample files and there is a demo.csv demo.csv is there so if you double click on this this file can be easily open in microsoft excel let's see that 
okay so you can see that comma is not visible over here but that file can be open over here so if you if you enter the details like this okay and if you save this and if you again open that in notepad plus plus you will able to see that data so that's fine it's okay close and if you again open it with notepad plus plus you will able to see that record added this is what is the csv format understood so this is how csv format need to be created then the next format is nothing but xml extended markup language now whenever i say markup language what does it mean it contains tags right so xml file contain tags how how that tags will be there let me create the sample xml file so let's say uh, the outermost tag is let's say staff and there will be ending tag for each tag you know so this will be ending tag so with the slash forward slash that tag is written so that is what is there then it contains employee so let's have employee tag okay and there will be ending employee tag so every tag will have corresponding ending ending tag then uh, inside that you will have emp id tag and there will be some value over there so whatever is the value let's say 100 and it will be ending with the employee id tag you can write the ending tag on the same line or multiple line that is free form that doesn't matter then we will have let's say emp name tag so let's say emp name is let's say rahul then slash emp name that's what is there then the salary salary will be there and salary is let's say 15k and salary will be end by this okay so that is what will be the employee tag now your staff might contain multiple employees the way like in csv we just have multiple record here also we can have multiple employee records in one staff record so let us have one more employee so what i do i just copy this and paste the same structure is same of each employee only values will be different let's say it is 200 let's say it is rohit and let's say it is 20k like that so this is how your XML file is structured. It is markup language, so it contains tags. Remember that these tags are custom tags. So I created this tag. These are not the standard tags. If you look at HTML file, HTML file contains standard tags. Okay, I show you uh, one HTML file. Let me show you that. Let me see if I have any HTML. Okay, I don't have, let me see if I have any HTML file over there, it's not there, really, okay, no problem, so we can, we can have the HTML file created, you know, for example, if I say, I create HTML file, new, and I will have HTML tag, okay, that is the standard tag, so that is what is HTML tag, then you can have h1 tag which is the heading tag this is heading okay which will be ending with h1 then we will have let's say body tag which will contain the whole body of the page html page okay and here you can have here is my content something like this okay and if i save this file save as double quotation sample dot html so you can see that that is what is there and if you try to open that html can be very well open with browser so if you go to sample files and if i open sample dot html let me see that where it is 
So I created HTML. Yes, this is this is the sample dot HTML. I'm double clicking on that and it will open in Chrome. You can see that this is what my sample file. There is one more file over there, my demo page. Let me open that. Yes, so this is what is the HTML content. HTML content can be recognized by a browser. Browser visually represent HTML page. That is not the case with XML. XML contains data. So if you look at this XML, it is canonical structure. Okay, let me save this file, save as, and let me call it as emp.xml. So double quotation, emp demo dot xml double quotation complete you can see that this is what is there this is what is the xml file which is a data file so many application it use they they use uh, xml file for storing data to to represent data so you can see that employees are represented by this xml file this is what xml file format will be then we do have json javascript object notation it is in javas it is in javascript format so <coughs> what we have is it will be in the key value pair let me create the json file uh, this JSON file will contain multiple employee record. So JSON array it is called as, which will be shown by pair of square brackets. Okay, then each employee record will be stored in pair of curly bracket. So let's have curly bracket over here. Okay, and then here let's have this opening and closing curly bracket like that. Okay, so opening and curly bracket. So these are like employee record one will be inside this curly bracket and employee record two will be inside this curly bracket. Both records will be separated with comma. Remember, then every record is arranged in form of key value pair. So my key will be, let's say EMP ID. Every key will be quoted in double quotation. Then the value if the value is numeric, then do not put double quotation for value. So suppose I say 1000 is the employee ID, then comma to have the next uh, key value pair, let us call it as E name. Every key will be stored in double quotation. Then the value is string, have it in double quotation. Let's say Sunil, comma and double quotation salary and do, no need to have double quotation for the number actually that's fine this is how so i recap what are the uh, restriction for json if it is containing multiple records so here it is containing multiple employee record so have square bracket outside right then every employee record will be inside curly brackets pair of curly bracket opening closing opening closing Records, employee records will be separated with comma. Then uh, records will be uh, stored in form of key value pair. So left hand side before colon, whatever is there that is called as key. So employee ID is key. 1000 is value. And key and value they are separated with the symbol colon. That is what the JSON syntax is. Remember all keys independent of its data type does not matter what is the data type of that key whether it is a string whether it is a number or whatever so your keys should be stored in double quotation right and if you look at value if the value is numeric no need to use the double quotation so 1000 and 15000 without double quotation but if value is string then use double quotation always that is mandatory that's what is your employee and let's copy this and let's have the value changes in the second record. So let's say the employee ID is 2000, let's say Anil and let's say salary will be 25,000 like that. And let me save it, file, save as, let us call it as empdemo.json. JSON is also the file extension. Yes, we got the color coding. 
that's what so if you look at notepad plus plus editor i generally suggest notepad plus plus editor instead of normal notepad because you get the color coding you know not for csv but at least for xml and json you get color coding and it is easy to find out errors in that so these are three key formats i hope you are clear with csv xml and json uh, data formats okay so thanks for watching this video friends if you want to have or if you want to watch such kind of valuable videos in future as well don't forget to subscribe my channel okay and click on the notification bell icon so that whenever i upload any youtube video i'm committed to upload at least one video every single day okay i don't do it weekly every single day so you can imagine that how much value you will have so stay tuned friends and see you in the next video bye bye